Hi there, welcome to the Beetle Garage. Today we are talking about Odontolobis dalmani, a very big one, a stag beetle, uh, very common in Southeast Asia that can get up to 10 centimeters long. We had a pair uh, two months, four months ago. I will check whether they have laid eggs here in this box. And I have since uh, March this year um, a lot of us of Odontolop is here in this 5 liter box, so I will check how they are doing and how fast they are uh, growing. Yeah, if you want to see the, the parents of the that were in this box, you can go back in the playlist and uh, you will see that we put them into this box uh, the 20th of April of this year. So now it's the 20th of August, that's exactly four months later. It's a good time to go and see whether you find traces of uh, the youngsters here of new larvas. And if you see, look at this uh, boxes here, it's not very sure whether the larvas survived here in these boxes. So that's why we want to check now whether we see how they are doing or whether we have to change substrate for them here. Oh look here. Yeah. We see different things. We see a big and very typical larva of Odontolobis. This is of course a male because it has a really big head capsule. And what we see, what is not so nice, we see a lot of earthworms here. So at this stage here, it's not a problem for them. It can be a problem later on when they are going to pupation. So that's uh, one thing we have to check with them. I prepared here a little bed for this male. Uh, it's now exactly 20 grams. As you can see, that's typical for Odontolopis. They have a very big kind of fermentation tank on the back and they have some long hairs also. I don't know whether you can see this. They have not many, but there are some very long hair on the, on the back of this uh, tank here where they probably fill in the substrate material that they are letting uh, process by their microorganisms. As you probably know, they don't eat the wood material themselves, but they let it eat by microorganisms and then they resorb these microorganisms. Uh, yeah, mostly also they can fix nitrogen from the air. That's a really beautiful, nice one here. Look at him. Let's see whether we can show it a little bit better here. Yeah. Odontolopis dalmani. The biggest subspecies of uh, Odontolopis dalmani is called Intermedia. So it looks nice here. We just let it go like this. Never change a winning team. That's one of the things that is also important for beetle beaters. If you find out it's a good substrate, do not uh, experiment too much with changing the substrate uh, because mostly the larvas they have adapted to the special chemistry inside of this substrate and if you just leave them here they can go on and yeah and become a big beetles later on. 20 gram, that's not huge for Odontolopis uh, Dalmani Intermediate. They can get uh, two to three times that uh, weight. So we have seen a lot of us up to more than 50 grams. But remember they have been L2 stage 25 uh, months ago said that they need a, a life cycle of uh, more than 20 months, around two years, so they still have some time uh, to get bigger here and to develop to nice uh, beetles later on. So let's see here. 
this seems a little dried out. So also, you, if you go through the substrate, check whether the humidity is right. Here you see a kind of a hole, a tunnel made inside. Of the, the tunnel goes from here. That's a, here's an opening. You see that? An opening. And the tunnel goes from here down somewhere into the substrate. Let's see whether we find the larva here somewhere. Yeah, look, here it is. It's also surrounded by earthworms. And now let's see how big this is. Ooh, this is much bigger than the other one before. So this is this is already 40 grams. That's a monster. A monster. Look at this. 40 grams Odontolopis Dalmani Intermedia. Also this seems to be a very good substrate for them and she has really grown fast here. And look if I try to keep her in my hands, how big the head capsule is. They can be very vicious also, so I have to be a little uh, careful not to. And also, I will try to not disturb her too much. It is really a big uh, stack beetle larva. I mean a stack beetle larva up to 40 grams. That's really something uh, special. You can have it with the Prosopocoilus. Uh, giraffe, uh, this size, but this is rare with other um, stack beetles, the uh, size of, or with uh, probably also with Torcus titanus, they get up this way. But now uh, see, this is a youngster, <laughs> yeah, it's only five, uh, six months old, so that has some potential to become even uh, bigger in the next months. So. So let's move to the to the box where we try to find some larvas. Um, I'm not sure whether the female laid some eggs, so it could be that we don't find anything here also. And the male, so both are dead now, um, male and female. As you know, they don't live so long. That's not a problem that they died after four months. That's just the normal nature. Let's have a look. So that's the surface of the box here. Some emptied beetle jellies here. Yeah, here yeah, also. And a piece of wood. A small mushroom coming out here from one of the wood pieces. You see that? This must be a, a small uh, shiitake from the size and form. Yeah, probably this is a piece of oak. So let's see what we do. Uh, we have another box here. And I tried to put the substrate from this box here to this box so this is very very soft wood here this will completely look it's like a, it's like a, yeah it's this very soft mass of wood I don't see anything here but could be that there are some traces there in the in the block here on the bottom. No, only also here. There's nothing. I just put all the and I go, let's go back to the bottom of the box. And see, oh, now here, look at this beautiful view. You see that? It's filled with larvas of Odon Dolopis Dalmani Intermedia. One, two, three, four, five. This is a small one, L, two, six, seven. Completely filled. So what we do, they seem to be all right here. So why should I change? the substrate for them. I, at the moment I don't see a reason for, to do that but what is interesting and what I want to show you also is 
how they have been aggregated or grouped into kind of a, 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 a yeah they have all been in the same place here also there are some remains of uh, wood material and they seem to nibble on the wood pieces from the bottom of the box so they don't like probably to be in the upper level of the substrate they more like to go down and eat from the bottom of the box so I guess here there could be some more if we dig down and I just uh, put them back this is a really nice view so they have laid some eggs that's a real nice Odontolopis dolmani intermedia and it's interesting to see that the wood blocks on the top they are untouched so probably later they come up and also try to eat this piece uh, of wood here on the, on the surface of the box here also this is another mushroom coming out of the substrate that's always a good sign to see that the material uh, the substrate is uh, in fact living you know this is not dead wood uh, so as we as we use the word dead of course it's it's the the wood itself uh, is not living anymore but there is a lot of life inside of this wood also with the larvas of Odontolopis dalmani here's a small let's see whether we can show you this small L what this must be an L1 stage larva Odontolopis dalmani and the bigger one, these are L2 here, second stage, and the big one that we have seen in the in the box, they have been L3. So enjoy the view. If you want to know what's going on with them, just come back later or uh, subscribe to the channel so you get an email whenever something new happens here in the Beetle Garage. Thanks for watching. Peace.